I'd like to call the Riverside Township Board of Trustees on a meeting for July 8th, 2014 together. Jan, would you please, please lead us in the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call of the board. Trustee Giesman? Here. Trustee Kavitsky? Here. Trustee Ertler? Here. Trustee Clark? Here. Supervisor Tusher? Here. Let the record know, Clerk Blau is also in attendance. Enjoy your motion for approval of the minutes of June 10th, 2014 board meeting. So moved. Second. Second. Any questions, concerns? Hearing none, roll call. Or, yeah, roll call. Trustee Ortler? Yes. Trustee Clark? Yes. Trustee Giesman? Yes. Trustee Kabitsky? Yes. Supervisor Toucher? Yes. Motion any, carried. Any communications? Yes, there are several. The first of which is um, from the North Riverside Public Library. They wanted to thank us for uh, underwriting the costs of uh, their uh, 13th anniversary a senior drop-in program celebration. They've also invited um, all the township people to their um, meeting, all their lunch meeting, on Friday, July 25th in the main floor meeting room of the library at 2400 South Des Plaines Avenue. And uh, they said, uh, please consider yourself, Marjorie Andy, invited uh, to join them for lunch. Make sure uh, Andy and Marge get it. Yeah, so they know. Um, there was a communication that <coughs> Ann put on in everybody's box. It was um, from the people from uh, the Working Bikes thanking us uh, for participating in that um, and having the, bank, the uh, bike drive that we had last month. And there's also a thank you notice uh, from the North Riverside Mayor, Herm Neck, uh, thanking uh, for our contribution. Uh, for their annual golf outing and educational scholarship fund. Uh, this year, they honored 57 students who were recipients of their scholarships to pursue their education. And that concludes the communication. Any visitors' remarks? There's no none. visitors. I don't have any reports. Trustees' reports? None. I don't have a report, but I have a question. Yeah. Um, I, I see a copy of my report from attending the district meeting in Lyle. Are we s still doing these reports? Yeah, when people go, they're supposed to be handing them in. Okay, because I, when I look okay. through the... You're, I, you're, I know Wayne has when he's going to talk to Springfield, says Mary Rob. Well, I didn't yeah. see one from Mary Rob with her submission. Okay, we, we've got to write a synopsis. Okay. Okay, and then we also put it in the notes, put it you know, into a file in case we're ever questioned. Okay? So we're still doing that. Yeah. Any other questions, Dan? No. Um, mental health reports, they're in your packet. Okay, any questions, concern about them? They're in an old business. Here's the uh, Riverside Art Center's profit and loss statement. Any questions or concerns about that? Yeah. Just did they ever give us a detail on under expenses of general and administrative expenses, $24,770? Do we know what that is? No, except it's, you know, general. Yeah. I'm sure for the secretaries and the director gets a stipend or something, you know, so for the amount of people so that like they have. Salar that's salaries? Yeah. Okay. Any other questions, concerns? <coughs> Hearing none. New business, township newsletter. Please review it. Any questions, concerns, changes? Leave on Andrew's desk. Looks pretty good to me. Looks very good. You know, I don't have a mental health report in my packet. Am I supposed to? Sure are. Yeah. 
It's oh, there. Oh, okay. I, you yeah, got it? Yeah. Okay. Sorry okay. about that. I, I was expecting something written. I didn't get any minutes. But they're on vacation, so they're, they wouldn't have any. Yeah, they were off July and August. Yeah. Um, okay. And minutes are always posted yeah. on the board in the office, too. Yeah. Um, under new business, I got a call from a woman at uh, in the lawn at 3752, and I went out, Stanley and I went out there. If you can kind of remember, it's at the end of, it's like at the Stanley and Bismarck. There's that one, it goes to the west, that one little street, it almost looks like an alley and there's a little house set behind there. And so anyway, um, the gravel's been really washed out since quite a few years now. Last time we had it done, there was a, a neighbor, but he's moved now. Who we bought the gravel for, and he just took his bobcat and you know, kind of graded it a little bit and then um, spread the uh, gravel out. And it's lasted except for all the floods we've had lately. And you can see pictures of that in here. I called three or four different companies, and the one that only really got back to me was um, Camlin. And it's, it's kind of strange because Tamlin's got two different divisions, or maybe they're brothers, they're two different companies. But um, Ed Tamlin will do the grading himself and uh, you know, all, but we buy the uh, stone from Tamlin, the other company of Tamlin, his brother or somebody, they'll deliver it and he'll just spread it. And this is the cost. But it does need it. Um, and they're not, and it's only going to be the normal width of a, you know, one car lane. You know, they've cut into the forest preserve. Somebody has. How you long? Know. How long is the alley? About two houses long. I'd say probably 100 feet, 150 feet long on one side, and then about another 150 on the other side. Is it worth looking into to have it? Um Paved? <clears throat> we wouldn't want to pave it, John. You want to pave it? Because that floods back there so much, I'm afraid that it'd pop up the paving. As a matter of fact, the first picture I took was a picture of a pothole that is right on Stanley Avenue, going back to the alley. I mean, you know, it's not bad, but, you know. It's that second picture. Pardon me? The second picture and such? Yeah, the first and second picture. I went down there before I came here, and it's pretty bad. Yeah, it is. Really I mean, you know, we, we haven't done... Holes. Well, you'll notice... Hole of water. The, the guy north of Stanley, or south, yeah, north of Stanley, not the little cottage, but the mm -hmm. one next to it, I hear he's the one who cut into the whole forest preserve and widen it out. But I said, no, all we're gonna do is like the width of that Stanley Avenue Street here, like that alley width. I mean, you know. Yeah. So um, do I hear a motion to? Well, did, did, he, est did he, est he estimated this at 42 tons of gravel, right? Yeah. That's a lot of gravel. Yeah. Well, he's gonna grade it no, I understand. with a bobcat, you know. Right kind of get a level and then put it, but then you gotta remember it's all gonna come down anyway. But he's, we gotta wait till it's dry, but um, do I hear a motion to accept the proposal from? I make the motion to accept the Tamley grading uh, proposal uh, to take care of the alleyway at a cost of $1,540 in Riverside Lawn. My second. Any other questions or concerns? Hearing none, roll call. Trustee Giesman? Yes. Trustee Kavitsky? Yes. Trustee Ertland? Yes. Trustee Clark? Yes. Supervisor Tusher? Yes. Motion carried. Under FYI, Ray Nozel, uh, you'll see an age option. 
we put him up for a uh, nomination for um, a plaque or a certificate in appreciation for senior services. Was he happy? Pardon me? Was he happy? Oh, yeah. They're all happy when they get something. Yeah. <laughs> something for free. Well, it's right. just like at the parade. If it's free, they want it. You know. Well, it's a recognition. Yeah. It's some hard work. Um, next year, keep in the back of your mind who you might want to put up. I'll let you know when it comes through there again. Um, July 20th, we. Okay, well, okay. Energy and Efficiency Workshop, the event flyer. You'll see it, you know. Um, Wait a minute. July 20th is the um, Japanese speaker. Right. September 20th is the. Yes. On a Saturday. Okay. Um, let me know on a, a week before so I can. Um, talk to the village so we can set up a, a table if you want to pass out stuff at the farmer's market for the Wednesday. July okay. 20th is the Japanese speaker? No, July 20th. July 20th. September 20th is the workshop. So do you, for the September event, do you have people lined up for that? Yeah. You know, she is... Um, She's in charge of the area. I bet that. No, I just thought I, you know, put this out and have nobody show up here. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I couldn't resist it. I bet the night before is that thing in North Riverside if they do it again. Because that's the I thing. can't hear you. Oh, I the, bet the night the before. The chili thing? Yeah, the chili thing. It's probably on Friday. It's Friday. Friday, yes, yeah, so that'd be the night before, because yeah. that's generally the third weekend in September, and this is the third yeah. weekend. Yeah, last year was kind of cool. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. chilly that night. You need to chill. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, any visitors, comments? Um, <coughs> approval of warrants. Approve and ratify payment of the bills identified on the general warrant July 2014 in the amount of $7,372.74 as presented to the board this eighth day of July 2014. I got a vote. Questions, concerns? <coughs> Hearing none, roll call. Trustee Giesman? Yes. Trustee Clark? Yes. Trustee Ortler? Yes. Trustee Kabinsky? Yes. Supervisor Tush? Yes. Motion carry. Okay. Uh, motion that the board ratify and approve payment of the amounts indicated on the following warrants. Utility warrant July 2014 in the amount of $1,016.96. Payroll warrant July 2014 in the amount of $15,916.98. Health warrant July 2014 in the amount of $1,957.62. Monthly filings July 2014 in the amount of $6,527.54. Grants July 2014 in the amount of $1,625. Petty cash July 2014 covering the period of February 12th through July 8th. 2014 in the amount of $172.11. General assistance warrant July 2014 in the amount of $1,800. And Township Radio Players warrant July 2014 in the amount of $520.35. All of the above is presented to the board this eighth day of July 2014. Second of all. Any questions, concerns? I, th I think it's the only time I've ever seen the payroll warrant higher than Wait a minute, the speak up, John. I'm sorry, I think this is the first time I can ever remember that the payroll warrant was actually higher than the general warrant. <laughs> There's usually so many bills on there. <laughs> so just a Were you going to say something? I thought I saw you reaching in. Pardon me? Were you going to say something? Nope. Oh, okay. I, th I, thought, it, oh, I thought it you went like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, roll call. Roll call. 
Trustee Erickler? Yes. Trustee Clark? Yes. Trustee Kavitsky? Yes. Trustee Giesman? Yes. Supervisor Tusher? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, cool. Supervisor's comments reviews. Just a reminder, July 20th, we have the, um, which will be a Saturday, or Sunday rather, um, which will be a uh, Japanese American uh, internment camp lecture. What time is that? The 20th. The 20th. Right. Where? Where is it going to be here, right? Yeah. Yeah. What time? Noon to 2. Oh, yeah. Uh, do I hear a motion for adjournment? I make a motion we adjourn. Do I hear a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.